guys, four months in, eh? Four months in. Thank you guys so much. It's I can't believe how much, how fast I've actually grown. Seventy plus subscribers. That's that's just awesome. Uh, thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the interaction on my channel. It's just been amazing. And so, thank you for that. The most commonly asked question I've been getting recently is why I actually started the vlog. So um yeah, let's get into why I started the vlog. So one day. I was, had my head in the bowl, spewing away, feeling like shit, frustrated at the world, frustrated at everyone and everything, and I had hit rock bottom. And I thought, screw this, I am going to document the whole bloody thing. And then I went straight from the toilet bowl, straight to the camera, and decided to document it. So I suppose the main reasons that I actually started the vlog was one, so I could actually document uh, me being rock bottom and working my way up, and second of all... I felt like I suppose I had stuff to say, whether people were listening or not, I needed to say stuff. And third is that it's just my creative outlet to help me get through all this rubbish that I've been going through. Stuck at home, feeling like shit, all that hoo-ha. Those are the reasons why I've started the vlog, pretty much. Summed up, nice and easy. And definitely I think the most hardest thing I have had to do while vlogging is getting used to the passion versus anxiety um, being my passion for film yet my anxiety for putting myself out there getting in front of a camera and general social anxiety so I've, you know there's this constant battle between what you love doing and hating the position that you're putting yourself in so filming in public's a hard one that's still one I'm still really getting used to, and everything I watch and all about it, it's always just, you've got to keep at it, you'll get better, get more comfortable, etc, etc. But that's definitely one area I'm struggling, so if any of you guys have any tips on that, just chuck it down there, because I would really be interested in having those tips. You know, I'd written a whole thing about my passion versus my anxiety, and how I was overcoming it, and each day, as long as you're improving from the day before, that you're actually making strides, but I'm starting to wonder that now. You know, I had it all written down and you was exactly what I was going to say, but it kind of just doesn't really feel right because I'm preaching about how to avoid the anxiety of these situations, yet I'm still having to deal with it. That's definitely the biggest struggle I'm having. Um, I just feel awkward. What do you do? What do you bloody do? Right, I figured it out. I have to deal with getting over it and sort a of way out that I can feel comfortable filming in public without the anxiety kicking in and even just getting in front of the camera in general once everything's filmed, it's on the computer, I edit it, easy, piece of piss, it's my favourite part it's just, sometimes my vlogs take a bit longer to come out because it's all just about taking that step of getting in front of the camera it can take days I've decided I've got to beat that fear so I suppose this is a declaration of doing that don't know how I'm going to do it yet Oh,